Just to move. <laughs> Abby Dev. <laughs> Yeah, we can make a movie. Do you how you do me? Even though you're mine, I feel like a groupie. I just want the Guala, want to flex Brianna. I cop new designer, then retire. Hi guys. Oh, she was recording a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see on my channel, by the way. Oh shit. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Oh poo. You look, paying, okay. you look paying. Yeah, you look paying. You look paying. <laughs> this is how we gas each other all the time. Yeah, like. you're nice. you, you, your makeup looks really nice, and I love your hair like this. Are you still? Are I, you always, sure? I tell you all the time, I love your hair out. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with my babe, Stephra. This is my flatmate, and we're really close, and we just love each other. I tell her what's right and what's wrong. Okay, you heard. Anyway, I told you what's wrong was wrong. When? When? Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, today we're doing what would you do if scenarios. So basically, well, I've got a bunch, of, so many questions okay. of what would you do if, and then we've got to say both of our reactions. Okay, okay. Okay, cool. Let me start off small. Let me start so off light, small. light. Okay. What would you do if you were forced to go to Iraq? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Iraq? I don't have you Wait, to finish. Is, my... is, there, is there a war in Iraq right now? There's always a war in Iraq right There's now. always. I feel like it's one of those countries, isn't it? If I was forced to go, what would I do? But if I run away, what else is there to do? But what's there to actually? I might end there. it. I might end it before. Because if I'm going to die there, we might as well die and kill myself. I'm not in the way. You won't find me, I'm telling you. Going to hiding, like yeah. a Bin Laden. <laughs> What would you do if you found out you were cheated on by every ex? What can I do? Yeah. What can you do? Don't I? Okay, I'm yeah. going to one judge master. It all depends <laughs> if... Oh, I think I'll... I'll oh, you can't swim in it. Mm -hmm. I'll go crazy. Yeah, you? not... I think, I'm, I think I have every right to confront them and be like, so I'll keep the car. I'll throw I'll ex the window. windows at your car. <laughs> And no, it did. Listen, bust the windows out the car for real. Yeah, I'm going crazy. All of them cheated on me. All of them. Do you know what? I might do like little things so they wouldn't know it was me, <laughs> but I still do it. So like, they go crazy. Yeah. So then like, like you know that like, saw, yeah? When like they stop, like do little, what's the things? Like booby traps, little traps. Okay. Yeah. So so they'll go yeah. through little traps, but they wouldn't know it was me. Yeah. And I'll do like recordings. Put your hand on bacon. Yeah. Like. Make them go through a living hell. Yeah. No. Anyway, what would you do if you had to leave your fam and get 10 million? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? It's time for everyone out here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm leaving them, but I'll give them money. Share. But you will never have your family again. I have my own family. <laughs> I'm giving them money. What's the meaning? 10 mil. I beg. Joe, sure, I think I would take it. I'll make my own 10 mil anyway. Oh, sorry. sorry. You know, I've got it like that. No, we both got it like that. <laughs> nah, no, not have your family, your mum, your sister. Stop guilt tripping me, bruh. <laughs> this one's taking a 10 mil. She's like, <laughs> she said, thank you, Trippy. I'm taking that 10 mil. Oh, I'm still providing for them. It's okay. Just FaceTime. No, you can't. Okay, it only says how to leave your. Okay. Communication. My mum will probably tell me, take the 10 million, what is this? <laughs> exactly, you won't tell me as well. <laughs> I don't know, I think I will, um, stay. Really and truly. Yeah, you know Really? I'm, I know. I'm a mummy's girl. But, yeah. But, really? Okay. I, maybe take the 10 million. What would you do if you had been in a relationship for more than 60 years and then a guy comes to tell you, a guy comes to you and tells you he's been seeing your girl behind your back? Impossible. 60 years? It's impossible. Six years. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Six years. I'm telling you, he, he must have dreamt it because that's impossible. I'm Six sorry. years, I think I'm with my girl. They're both I dead. Think, yeah, no, about. on a level, I feel like I would go crazy and I actually... never see their bodies again. I would torture them, cut off their fingers one by one, cut off their, the tip of their nose. So try and find somebody else now. They should both be together yeah. with no nose and no fingers. 
was that even your girl in the first place? Well, you need to be careful. Oh, no, I would go crazy. I, I actually know I would go crazy. I'll that's go that's mad. mad. That's actually mad. I would go crazy. Great. What would you do if you were dealing with your man and he shouts another girl's name? So, like, say you guys were play fighting and he's like, Tina! <laughs> when, your name, when your name is Deborah. <laughs> And that's not his sister, it's not his cousin. I don't know. I feel like I'm straight quick. You know me, what I'm like. Yeah, I'm like, I'm yeah, quick. I'm like who's Tina? Who's Tina? I'm like, who's Tina? Who's Tina? Who's Tina? <laughs> Are you crazy? That's what you have to. What? No, I'm smashing bottles. Because that's not poor. Um, oh, I can't smash. <laughs> I'll over. break that thing. I'll break it. Do you know how rude that is? I'll break it then and there. What would you do if you could time travel? Travel, travel. Time travel. What would you do if you could time travel? Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see my husband. So you go to the future. I go to the future. Oh, the makes thing sense. Is, I feel like in my life, what's I'm, the point I'm, going yeah, I'm just like you know, what well, things has happened in the past. You can't really change it now. Mm -hmm. I don't regret anything because in the past. Mm -hmm. So Same. I want to see my husband is because so, I ain't you know things need to quick quick. It's true. So, you. so you know, at least so you I know, know like, what's gonna happen. So if any of these creatures come, like, nah, I know it's not you. It's not your fault. Okay, it makes sense. But then, what if, yeah? Okay, what if, like, you meet your husband, you know your husband, but what if some of the people you meet along the way are meant to guide you towards your husband? Or what? what you mean like the boy? Yeah. That's true. Okay. That is true. That is very, very true. I know it's very, very true. Okay. But still, okay, okay, okay maybe I won't invest as much, much into it. Okay, makes, makes sense. sense. What would you do if you found one million in your bank account? Baby, you'll never see me again. Bro, I'm dropping out of uni today. Today. You'll never see me. Today. Bro. One million. You see, you'll wake up in the morning, come to my room, but oh, where's the bra? Where's the bra? Fake. You won't even give me 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's fake. She won't even give me 20 pounds. She's Bro, gone. I'm She's gone. I'm, I'm First flight class plane somewhere, anywhere. Would you at least come back and give me twenty pound now? I'll give you five pound fifty. Or well, five pound fifty for what? You can buy pizza king. I did you were gonna say that pizza king. What would you What would you do if you had the chance to choose between a wonderful relationship, romantic relationship that would end after only a year, or a so-so relationship that would last your entire life? What's so so? Tell me, so like, what, what, what's so so? You know, so so. There's different levels of so so. Like, stupid so so. <laughs> <laughs> like, stupid so so. Uh, I don't know about that. Like, stupid so. That for your whole life, or one amazing relationship for a year? I think one amazing relationship for a year. That's it. I'll have other relationships no. after then. Yes, I will. No. Yes, I will. That's not part of the question. This girl yes, doesn't know how to play games. Yes, she can. <laughs> She's yeah. even nudging me because she yes, she can. Yes, she can. No. I don't want to be in a relationship, a so, so stupid relationship for the rest of my life. What's that? I'll be sad. I don't yeah, you be will sad. be sad. Exactly. I'd rather be alone than be sad. Exactly. So I'll love someone for a year, and then if I'm alone, I'm alone. At least I've experienced that, you know what I mean? That love. What would you do if you could not make your own decisions but you had to choose someone else to make them for you? Who would you choose and why? I won't lie, I'll sh choose Irene. Mm -hmm. Irene's my bestie. Because uh, every time. <laughs> Irene just gives Irene's common sense to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I make the most stupidest things. And when I don't like talk to Irene first, bad things happen. Mm. Or not bad things, but, but like, you know what I mean? Going wrong. It but goes when wrong. I talk to her first, I want to actually. She calms me down a bit. Yeah. And then, things work out. Okay. So, shout out to Irene. I would probably choose Ade. Ade is my bestie, sister, everything. Love my life. Anyway, I would choose Ade because I feel like she has common sense. Yeah, has Ade seen. has she common has. sense. She's and Ade thinks well before she does something. Ade will think of the outcome, what you do before, the middle <laughs> round. Ade <laughs> is on and everything and, and she will think even five minutes after what happened or ten years after what could happen. So I would choose Ade because I feel like that she would make sense. Yeah. What would you do if your husband wanted to start a business that was a hundred percent going to succeed but it meant you would be homeless for ten years? Ah, ten years. Ah, ah, ten ten years. Ah, 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 homeless. I 
don't know about that. But I'm all about supporting my husband. Ten years. Ten years. I beg. Uh-uh. Ten years. Do you know how many winters that is? Yeah, it's cold. In England as well. Yeah, well I'm not if sure it was ten years that. in Hawaii, I wouldn't mind. It's hot out everywhere. Um, I'm not, I love you, husband, but I beg. Homeless. And imagine being on your period homeless. Ugh. Allow it. Allow it. Deborah. Being on your period homeless. Why would you think that? Because <laughs> I'm just thinking. Oh, no. But imagine if you brought that kids. Cause you cut, you know what I mean. Yeah, it does, it's not beneficial for the kids. Sorry, you have a future husband, but it's okay. Just, just simple business. Because we can't disclose what she said. But what would I do? I would. What was the question? I forgot. What, what, what would you do if one of your guy friends told you he liked you? Oh. Um, I don't really cross boundaries with my guy friends. I, I just feel like it. They don't. Are you very sure? <laughs> chaotic as well so I'd rather not mm. so I feel like I would just be like I don't think we should cross that line especially if I just see her as my friend um me um you know what they say all good relationships you know start off as friendship <laughs> you know so sometimes it works out for other people sometimes it does let's move on I hear that I hear that what would you do if your girl got with your man when she was waved that means she's been plotting on him. So what would you do say if you got with my man? Because I was waved. I was waved. No, bruv. When you're drunk, I'm telling you. You still know what you're doing. You still know what you're doing. To an extent. You're, the truth comes out. Always comes <sighs> out. Oh, I didn't ask the this. <laughs> yeah, the truth always the comes truth out. always comes out, bruv. You know. So if she, so she knew what she was doing. I'm she cutting her off. She's I'm cutting her off. I bet her bridge is burned. Yeah. Burn. Burn. I should, I should Oh, him pour, too as well. Pour some wine. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you fell to uni? Hey. Bam. Well, my mum's never going to see me again because I'm not stepping back into the house. I don't know what I'll do, but I'm not stepping back into I'm the house. I'm retaking onto our past. What do you mean? Who's going to come? She's going to find us for four years. Um, If I fell to uni, I better make sure I have a backup job. That's true. If I if I fell to uni and I find out I fell to uni, I'll make sure I get a backup something. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or get like a good, good job that. Yeah. It wouldn't realise that. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> boy. What would you do if you found out your brother and your friend were in a relationship? Cut off. Done out here. Cut what off. do you mean? Cut off. I had to find out, so no one wanted to come and tell me. And plus, I feel like that's weird. It's so weird. That's weird. I can't do that. It's so weird. I don't, I don't think. Uh, I can't imagine. And plus, the age gap between me and my brothers is just weird. They did that. Oh, mine is calm, but still. Nah. This is weird. Nah. What would you do if you and your man had been together for time and he took you home, he went out for a bit and his mum slapped you across the face for speaking out of turn and your man didn't believe you? Wait, how long have you been like, doing it? <laughs> <laughs> break it down, break it down. Okay, break it down. What would you do if you and your man had been together for time and he What's time? Let's say three years. Okay. That's He's, not time in my eyes, but okay. That's not time. No. Three years. No. That's a whole uni. Continue. Three years. Three years. And he took you home. Okay. It's enough for you guys to get. Okay. Three years. So we'll break it down. I'm listening. I'm listening. So three years. He takes me home. Okay. Yeah, he takes you home, and then he went out for a bit. So okay. it's just you and his mum at home. We're gonna get some like food. Food, some groceries, so you and his mum can cook together. Disaster. Okay. That would be a. I thought. It shouldn't be a disaster though. I just don't know. Mum and their sons are just weird, I feel yeah. like. And sons and their mums are the most. Anyway, his mum slapped you across the face for speaking out of turn and he didn't believe you. But what's speaking out of turn? How out of turn was I speaking? What speaking out of turn to her? Yeah. She's basically being disrespectful. I yeah. Think. And he didn't believe me. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about me, like me slapping her back on her No. Feet. Okay. She slapped you. Well, I'll slap her back. Yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. You suffer back. I'm joking. I never said yes, yeah, so calm. I'm joking. Me. Okay, go on. Um. Oh, if he doesn't believe me, it's over. 
you can't let I know it's your mum and everything, but you can't let your mum disrespect me and then you Don't not believe, believe me. me. Yeah. Like Where's the trust? You know what I mean? That's the whole point of a relationship. Like, cool. So if you don't trust me, then bye, Felicia. My thing is, I would probably apologise for speaking out of turn. Because if I was speaking out of turn, for her to slap me, I must have been speaking proper out of turn. And my thing is, you got to be respectful to your man's mum, no matter what. No matter what. Because the same yeah. way I would want him to be respectful to my mum. So I was speaking out of turn, but then again, she has no right to slap me because exactly. my mum wouldn't slap me. She has no right so to he should have. She can like shout at you and talk yeah, to you and tell pat me, you, pat but me, but slap me. Slap, no. And I feel like for my man not to believe me is a bit of a stretch, but I would understand why he but wouldn't either. Why? That's his mum. But I believe my mum slapped someone though. Right, if my man came to me and was like, oh, your mum slapped you, slapped me, first of all... I'd be like, why? I'd be like, first of all, why do you... I'd be like, I'll get on to him. I'd be like, why do you think she did that? Yeah. Then, then after, I'd be like, I'll go to mum. I'd be like, mum, if, if you felt this, I'm so sorry for that, but please don't slap my man again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Simple as. Yeah. That's how I would go about it. Yeah, I feel like I would try to fuse the situation yeah that one I'll incident i don't think i would end it straight away well literally three years you don't feel like you think three years is a long time it is a long time it's a degree i don't feel like three years is a long time i feel like it is a long time three years of my life okay true 21 to 24 i could get married at 25 for three years yeah we could get married in the fourth year anywho that's all the what would you do if question. What would you do if I were No, 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 Do you have like a um you should get like a theme tune song thing but like that like, just <laughs> are you gonna do it for me <laughs> anyway Deborah's falling out thanks for watching this guys thanks ever for being in my video you're welcome and make sure you guys like comment subscribe bye guys bye mm. you're my fire holding tighter what's mine is hers are Vice versa.